गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज डॉक्टर आरोश सिंह फ्रॉम वर्धमान महावीर मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड सफदरजंग हॉस्पिटल न्यू डेली द टॉपिक ऑफ माई ओरल पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन इज सी टी एन जियोग्राफी हेड इवेल्युएशन ऑफ एडल्ट नॉन ट्रोमेटिक हेड एक सेकेंडरी टू एस एच ऑन एन सी सी टी हेड एम टू असेस द एफिकेसी ऑफ सी टी एन जियोग्राफी इन एडल्ट नॉन ट्रोमेटिक हेड एक सेकेंडरी टू एस एच इंट्रोडक्शन An acute headache is one that has developed within the last few days, hours, or even minutes. Painful cranial facial neuropathies, secondary headache disorders, and primary headache disorders are the three main categories of headache, according to the third edition of the International Classification of the Headache Disorders. Secondary headaches are due to an underlying medical condition and need special attention and further neuroimaging workup. The snoop pneumonic may catch potentially life-threatening headaches. In the snoop pneumonic. The S stands for systemic signs and disorders. N for neurologic symptoms. O is for new onset or change and patient greater than fifty years of age. O stands for onset in thunderclap presentation. P stands for papilledema pulsatile tinnitus, positional provocation precipitated by exercise. According to ACR appropriateness criteria, the first imaging that is appropriate is a CT head without intravenous contrast. Further imaging is guided by the findings of non contrast ct and neurological findings the common entities that may present as acute headache in the emergency department are subarachnoid hemorrhage intracerebral hemorrhage vascular abnormalities like reversible cerebral vasoconstriction syndrome cerebral venous thrombosis infections meningitis encephalitis and brain abscess sinus tumors primary or metastasis ct angiography is increasingly used in patients with acute severe headache to rule out vascular abnormalities It has been proven valuable in detecting aneurysms. Methods: Neuroimaging. All scans were performed using as low as reasonably achievable principle, that is Alara principle. The patients who had presented with SH as the predominant finding on CT had underwent CT angiography. Head. CT angiography. Head. Spiral acquisition of CT angiography head was carried out on on semen somatome definition flash two fifty six slide CT scan. Spiral volumetric data was acquired from arch of aorta to vertex of skull in arterial and venous phase using bolus tracking technique after giving IV iodinated contrast agent through automated injector. ROI is placed at arch of aorta and triggered when hundred Hq is reached. Arterial phase taken at eleven seconds after contrast injection and venous phase taken at two minutes after contrast injection. Results: Total number of patients were forty. Male to female ratio is eighteen to twenty two. Pattern of SH is diffuse in thirteen patients, anterior in fourteen patients, right in six patients, left in six patients, and posterior in one patient. Uh, uh, headache type is as follows: hollow cranial in thirty-five patients, frontal in five patients. Associated findings on NCCT head other than SH were IVH, that is intraventricular hemorrhage in nine patients, intraparenchymal hemorrhage in eleven patients, and hydrocephalus in four patients. The mean age of the patients was forty nine point one five years. The age of participants ranged from twenty seven to sixty eight years. Aneurysm location, uh, that is arising from aortic artery in sixteen patients, anterior cerebral artery in four patients, internal carotid artery in nine patients, and middle cerebral artery in seven patients. Aneurysm size, the size of the dome. The ranges are as follows: two to four mm in seventeen patients, four to six mm in eleven patients, six to eight mm in five patients. Zero to two mm in one patient and ten to twelve mm in two patients. These results are tabulated as follows. Uh, the case one is a ruptured AV fistula. In the first figure, NCCT head axial sections, we can see a hypertense intraparenchymal hemorrhage shown by blue arrow with perilesional edema in left frontotemporal location. In the second figure, we can see a hypertense round lesion in left. In left temporal convexity, within surrounded by blood, shown by black arrow. In the third figure, we can see a left middle meningeal artery. It is a branch of internal maxillary artery. It is hypertrophied, shown by blue arrow, with enlargement of the left foramen spinosum. In the fourth figure, we can see a dural AV fistula seen with early venous drainage in the left basal vein of Rosenthal, shown by yellow arrow. The large venous sac is lighted up on CT angiography. My case two is a ruptured echo aneurysm. On the NCCT head, we can see S we can see SH in is in interhemispheric 
fissure vessel systems perimesian conflict shown by blue arrow with mild hydrocephalus on ct angiography we can see a ruptured narrow neck ache of aneurysm shown by dark blue arrow my case 3 is a ruptured right mc aneurysm on nct head you can see diffuse sh along interhemispheric fissure basal systems shown by blue arrow predominantly located anteriorly on ct angiography we can see a contrast filled out watching at region of right mc bifurcation confirming a ruptured aneurysm shown by yellow arrow a case for is a ruptured left mc aneurysm on the nct head we can see sh in interhemispheric fissure basal systems left sylvian fissure shown by blue arrows along with intraventricular hemorrhage shown by yellow arrow and intraparenchymal hemorrhage in left frontal temporal parietal region shown by green arrow on ct angiography we can see a ruptured left mc aneurysm shown by blue arrow discussion this prospective observational study was conducted on 40 adults aged greater than 18 years who presented to the emergency department with non traumatic headache secondary to sh on nct headache was more commonly experienced by females then males ct angiography head was done in 40 patients but presented with sh on nct head as their predominant finding ct angiography head was normal in two patients and 38 patients had positive findings a majority of patients in emergency setting in this study were diagnosed to have intracranial aneurysms and arteriovenous malformation of fistula aneurysms were detected in 36 patients one patient had arteriovenous malformation and one patient had arteriovenous fistula The sensitivity of CT angiography had came out to be ninety-five percent in detecting intracranial vascular pathology. Retrospective study done by Alonzo et al. on patients who presented with acute head headache, indicating that abnormal NCT head is the strongest predictor for detecting an abnormality on CT angiography in patients with acute head. The spectrum CT angiography findings in this study were aneurysms seen in and in three patients, cerebral venous thrombosis seen in six patients, arteriovenous malformation in seven patients. dissection in five patients ischemia in three patients and reversible cerebral vasoconstriction syndrome in two patients and arteriovenous fistula in two patients authors heat et al on 1 to 8 patients presenting in non traumatic sh found a normal ct angiography in 17.9% of patients during 11 year period thus this study showed that ct angiography had is a useful tool in the evaluation of patients presenting with adult non traumatic headache secondary to sh in the emergency setting these are the references thank you